Radio Shun State Police Command says that officers did not find any uh, people's permanent voter cards on a People's Democratic Party operative when he was arrested on Monday. Police spokesperson Fulashade Odoro insists that detectives are only investigating claims that Fatai Diakola was caught while trying to purchase PVCs from residents in Alekudo. That's a neighborhood in Shogbo, the state capital. Odoro insists that police would have, an, would have issued a statement if the PDP operative was caught with PVCs. The police spokesperson was clarifying a Tuesday night statement that she issued about the arrest of Diakola and two others, which said that the politicians were arrested for buying PVCs and causing public disturbance. The alleged accomplices were identified as Shogu, uh, Dim Lekun and uh, Shikuru Lawal, both PDP strategists in the state. Meanwhile, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, is defending its staff against accusations of engaging in irregularities in last Saturday's governorship election in Oshun State. The resident electoral commissioner told a news conference that an INEC worker's removal of a form from the wall in Ayedadi local government was to replace it with another with the correct figure of total number of votes cast. He is unhappy with what he calls some media harassment, humiliation and ridiculing of the staff. The AJ Police Officer Professor Yago accepted the fact that there was an error in the EC60E paper at the AJ Police Center, especially the figure 10,836 recorded for PDP on the poster, which is different from the actual votes called 9,836 by the PDP. It should be noted that the INEC staff, Salawu Mutiu, Kolawole, did not destroy the resource sheet for the said election, for they are intact in the custody of the commission and copies of same are with agents of the 40 political parties that contested the governorship election. The commission is displeased with the conduct of a session of the press that repeatedly broadcast the event maliciously without proper investigation to know the true position of things. This attitude has misinformed the public and INEC has been misrepresented in the narrative. But I want to reassure all stakeholders in the Russian government election that the present INEC, under the leadership of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, will never jeopardize the goodwill and credibility which the Commission has attained in the conduct of relations in Nigeria.